Hi guys, so my channel has been all about sharing my spiritual awakening and remembering who I am as this infinite soul having this human experience, a temporary human experience, and I like how um, this Rising Higher Meditation channel on YouTube says it in one of her um, really good nighttime meditations on self-love, and she is saying, yeah, we are energetic spiritual beings basically manifested and we are unique expressions of source and so in knowing that we are able to step into our power and some of the things that i have done are you know to like really look at my health in a new way using detoxing and fasting and stuff like that the other thing of course is going inside and really starting to heal and to silence the distractions, especially in this world right now, right? Going on and to stay focused and to choose the center path so that I'm not like being tossed around like a wave in the ocean. What I wanted to do today, because health is my passion, is I wanted to talk about the detoxification process and um, I came across Dr. Morse's site. I was led there a couple years ago and that's what really, there were synchronicities coming in and people brought into my life and doors open with getting herbs and that, everything that he says and the people the you know testimonies that are out there completely resonate with me and I now understand and understand food in a way different um, manner and a level that is outside of academia and the conventional ways of thinking. Yay! <laughs> now I have in my hand my other phone because I am going to put up on the screen um, his levels of detoxification. And on the pyramid, I'm going to put it over here, it says move up or down the pyramid to accelerate or slow down your detoxification experience. So what I'm going to do is I am going to just read through the levels and hopefully put it out there for you guys so that you can kind of, if you're looking into detoxing, um, fasting and stuff like that for your health, regenerating your cells, that this will give you kind of a foundation and you can go to Dr. Morse's site. Um, I am not like speaking from a place where I've been able to go to any of his, um, you know, schools, classes and stuff like that, but I've learned from his videos and he has many, many videos out there for us to learn from and he simplifies everything because life in truth is simple and so when we get all complex that's the mind coming in which is not ours these thoughts right are all conditioned these emotions are all conditioned these old belief systems have been passed down we have picked them up and now it's time to let go of things that no longer serve us and others so what i'm going to do you guys um, is just read and i hope this is helpful and i'll leave links in the description box for you so that if this resonates with you, you guys can use it for yourself and, you know, continue on your path of growth and healing. So on the very first level, it says animals, protein, fish, dairy, eggs, cheese, grains, refried or refined. I haven't drank anything today, so I'm a little bit like dry in the throat so i'm trying but refined processed starches and sugars avoid these toxic foods so dr morse talks about how these foods are not meant for us the human species and he explains why he's a, um, a naturopath he's a chemist and a physicist and um yeah he really lays it out and how not to combine foods and stuff like that as well. So this is something that people, you know, can slowly work into because those things in our bodies that we've been eating for a long time, um, they end up, you know, sending out cravings because they want to stay right where they are. You know, these cells are like, oh, give me this. You've been doing this, you know, forever and feeding me. So they are craving it. But then when you cross that river eventually those cravings go away and you start to really see 
a difference in not only your physical health, but your mental health, your emotional, and um, you know, spiritually, you are actually more connected. It's just something that happens. It's a backdoor in. So pretty exciting. So the next level is nuts, seeds, cooked vegetables, and leafy greens. Now I know that um, there are many different paths out there. Dr. Morse has worked with <clears throat> all of them and many, many people. So this is about people who are um, dealing with very, um, well, it's for anyone, but he, like, you know, stage four cancers, people who are in a wheelchair, people who have things that are said to have no cure to them. So when you start to really get into those advanced stages of um, degeneration in the body, and um, sometimes it's all you can do. You've, you've tried everything, you're at the end, and that you basically have a death sentence from the conventional doctors. So this is about having the wisdom to move forward and to never give up and to take your life in your own hands. You're the one you've been waiting for. So these are things that it's just you slowly work out of them and you're very patient and compassionate with yourself. But sometimes you do have to go stronger because of your situation. So the next level is raw fruits and vegetables. And then we have green smoothies or juices. Next is fruits for breakfast and lunch and then salad for dinner. Next is 100% fruit. Fruit smoothies is the next level. Fruit juice is the next one. So juicing everything so your, your body is able to rest in your digestive system. And, you know, the more that it's broken down for you, the more your body can rest and use that energy to regenerate the cells. Next is a mono fruit. So you choose one fruit. Uh, Dr. Moore suggests grapes as the highest energy food on the planet, but we do the best we can. So what we have available to us. And then we have mono fruit juice. So juicing one that, you know, you have available to you. And then next is water fasting at the top of the pyramid. So anyways, again, this is a process. You don't just jump into it and you don't just stop a fast and go right back into your normal eating. It can be very dangerous. So make sure you, you know, have the knowledge and the wisdom to go into this detoxification uh, process and that you know how to come out of it because if you don't, you can crash and you can have some major side effects. Um, some people have even gotten to the point where they have fasted for a very long time and then they just went to like major complex starches like potatoes and stuff and they actually, um, you know, had a, well, let's just say what I heard was that, you know, there has been people who have died from doing this. And so, you know, this is something that, um, you know, we got to understand and understand how our bodies work. And we need to um, step into our power because it's not only the physical detoxification symptoms that come up, it's emotional detoxification symptoms. And the reason why I kind of hesitated about saying that about the guys is because some people will go, oh, no, I can't do that then. However, there's tons and tons of people who are dying from eating processed non-foods, all of this, you know, American diet or wherever you live, these foods that are dead. And it got me thinking about CPS and stuff like that where, you know, I'm learning about for a long time here since the CPS thing has happened about the dead entities and all the corruption and the legalese that they use and how we are living beings and we have to correct our status and let people know, no, we're not lost at sea, we're alive. And, you know, we're the living beneficiaries. Um, but this goes with food as well. You can look at it. Are we involved with the dead or the living? Are we consuming living foods that help us or not? And so when we start to combine the two, when we're kind of, you know, straddling the fence or walking in both worlds, you can't serve two masters. And so you got to choose the living or the dead. And, you know, uh, 
I just, I didn't want to scare anyone away, but to put it into perspective, we really have to start to see, we aren't being led by fear. Wisdom helps us, and truth is simple, and we do need to know that um, as we do this, this is powerful, powerful enough to raise our vibrations and get us out of anything and any type of trenches that have been keeping us bound. So I really hope this is helpful for you. I hope that it is just a starting ground for you to continue to research for yourself and I will leave some links for emotional detoxification and um, how to start a fast and end a fast because, like I said, that's very important. And it depends on how long you've been fasting and what levels you've been fasting at. Another one is dry fasting, which some people do for an extended period of time. I've only done about 48 um, to 72 hours before, and I worked my way up to that. Um, it is a great way to get the kidneys filtering and stuff like that. And that's something that has been difficult in my family. Adrenals and kidneys have been majorly impacted. So um, anyways, it's the autonomic nervous system for many people that has been impaired. And we can regenerate this and it affects all areas of our body. But we all struggle with you know, one thing or another and we can totally upregulate genes and we can downregulate genes. We want to make sure that we are in the driver's seat. Our souls are, have taken the wheel and we let go and we surrender, but we overstand and understand our power because the ego yeah we love our ego it's it's or the ego uh, I don't want to like identify with things or attach to things but that ego has helped us to maneuver in this world for a long time but there's a shift happening and we're starting to um, awaken and ascend and evolve to higher levels and as we do that we let go of duality we let go of those things that keep us separate and anything no longer serving us. So, you know, don't allow other people to take your life in their hands because it's your life, you know, and there is a way, there's always a way, and you can ask the universe, make a way for me, you know, show me uh, what is it that I need to do, what people do I need to have be brought into my life. And like I said in the last video, if not me, then who? If not now, then when? So you guys, this is a new age. You know, it's it's right here. And we are creating and co-creating it consciously, hopefully now. You know, most of us are starting to go, you know, all right, I get this. And I'm going to do everything I can to uh, create the life I want for me, my family, and everyone else in existence. Um, and so we start with going inside. So I love you guys, and I hope that you enjoy this and it's helpful for you. Uh, go ahead and um, hit like, share, subscribe if this video has helped you in some way. And I will see you in the field. Namaste.